welcome back to my channel. I look like a freak right now. I did a Coachella inspired look. Do you like it? I know that this has nothing to do with Coachella, but it's still summer vibes. So I thought I just can't be arsed to get changed. So this is what I look like. <coughs> I'm dying sick right now. But I had a good day today. And I'm being positive about life. Um, I haven't bought myself something like, you know, like a big shop in like, God, since Christmas time, I think now, and it's like nearly summer, so I was like, I'm going to Ibiza in three weeks, so I better go and buy myself some new clothes, and I did, and I just thought that I may as well do a big huge haul, I don't really like picking up little bits and bobs, because I end up wearing it, and then I feel like it's not new, so there's no point in recording a YouTube video for it, so to everyone, I'm going to spend loads of money, and go get loads of clothes. Even though I shouldn't have because I should be saving my money because I go to Ibiza. If you are new here, I do a season in Ibiza. I do be there for six months. So yeah, I need some new clothes every year because I'm the B-I-T-C-H that can't rewear clothes. So today we've got a big Penny's haul, Penny's Primark or whatever, same thing. A Bershka haul and my f good friend, she's only had to start up her own clothing business. It's called Urban Glam Clothing. So she sent me a few bits as well. So the whole vibe is all holiday vibes, so let's get into it. I'm very excited to try it all on. I haven't tried on anything, I literally bought it a few hours ago. So I'm very excited, let's get into it. Okay, I think we should start with... I think we should start with pennies. Yeah, because I picked up some really cute things. I picked up a lot of like um, basic stuff because I'm not really a basic bitch, I'm very out there. As you can see, I don't really wear a lot of plain things, but that's the problem is that when I go and spend money on clothes, I get really like going out and crazy clothes, and I don't have anything to wear during the day, so I end up wearing Luke's t-shirts as dresses out on days out, which is runners, so I need to go buy some basic bitch clothes. But some of them are too basic, but you know, I'll, I'll show you the vibe. The vibes are quite good. So the first thing I got was, I think that these are the cutest things ever. These are... I think it's cotton. It's a cotton um, shorts, all right? But I just think these are the cutest things ever. I just think that you can wear them during the day, just if you want to throw a bikini on, or you could dress them up and wear them out on a night out, wear like a lovely one shoulder, um, one sh shoulder Leo, some nice black shoes. You can really dress it up or like a lacy Leo with like heels. I just think they're very universal and they were only five euro. I got size eight in them. I haven't tried them on, so I will give you my verdict of sizing because I can't say, oh yeah, they're nice, but um, I can't read the future because I don't know what they feel like. So you'll hear me talking now. Guys, these fit so nice. They are so flattering. They're like not too tight on your region area, but like they have little cute pockets as well. Really, really like these. So cute. Next thing I got was a cute bikini. I just need some basic bitch bikinis. All mine are like fancy swimwear or jewels hanging out with them and you don't want to be having that in at the pool um, because sometimes you're too ugly for your bikini. So I picked up these. These were only 230 for the bottoms and 230 for the top. Whoa, that's so cheap. 460. But I think they're just really cute holiday vibes. And I have a lovely white kimono, like a mesh white kimono. I just think that looks so cute. Again, like you could dress it up or dress it down. Like you could throw a white kimono on with like a really gorgeous long uh, three piece gold necklace and your hair done vibes. And you are ready for a beach club. So cute, 460. What the hell, that's so cheap. Oh, and I got them both in a size eight. 8 and then a 10 on the bottoms, but they are adjustable bottoms, which is really good. So I find that any size works, like a size up or uh, under works both ways. I'm really hoping that it doesn't give you, you know, that flappy bum. You look like a big granny ears. So it's not very pretty, to be fair. Okay, here's some of my base, basic bitches tops. So this, I think this is the like cutest thing ever, and it's so good that they finally did something like this. It's a top, but it has like the knot in the front of it. I struggle so hard doing the knot because sometimes I find I bought a, a top that is way too tight on me and it's too hard to do the knot on it. So the knot's here. It's a good time. And plain basic bitch top. 
I got extra small on it because I always find that sometimes with Primark, the tops do be too, um, they stretch very easily. So I like to get a really tight top and then eventually they'll stretch out. This was um, only five euro and that will go with anything. Again, even them shorts that I have, anything. I, I think everyone and their nans have these shorts. But you need some basic bitch shorts. The only thing that I really hate about them is that they're so low cut and they just make me look humongous. Uh, I got them in a size small, which is a small is 10 to 12. I don't know. I think extra small now is a size 6 to 8. Um, <clears throat> no, an extra small is now a size... Yeah, be a 6 to 8 is an extra small. So I just think they're not nicer when they're not really tight because sometimes... You know, when your little um, your little camel toe area happens, uh, sometimes it's nice to not feel like you're suffocating in that region. Another basic bitch dress. I actually have this in red, and it's really, really nice. The fabric looks really, really good. It was only four euro again. I got extra small in it. Um, these don't really last very, very long. I had one before and it was so see-through, but this one seems not too bad. Again, you still need to wear white underwear and you will probably see the layout of it, but that's what you get for paying four euro, so there's nothing really you can do about it. They had this in grey and I have the one in red already. I wore it, if you go through my Instagram, when I first got diabetes, I have a photo of, or even in my diabetes vlog actually, sorry. If you go into my diabetes vlog, when I get there, you'll see me in like a little red dress and it fits perfectly. It gives you such a good figure. Basic bitch number three, Bandu. Okay, this looks tiny, okay. It's a four, it's a size four to six, so I don't really know how it's gonna fit. I'm gonna insert a little clip here. Okay, now this does not fit well at all. Now, Let's be fair, this is a booty strapless bra, uh, but you can actually see it through and I can't find my actual uh, bra that I wear. Um, <laughs> it's so see-through of uh, me wearing it, but it was four euro and I don't have any plain bandeau tops and I need one. It looks very, very, very see-through, but again, just get a nice white bra and you'd be grand, four euro. Living your best life. I picked up these earrings. I just think they are so cute. I, I love anything in the love hearts. They have ones that are similar on Pretty Little Thing, but you know when you order a Pretty Little Thing and you just want one thing, but then you don't want to pay shipping fee on just one product. So these are just handy. These are only three euro and I'll get very good wear of them. And if you lose them, you don't even mind to pay three euro. I swear to God, I am the best person that finds sales in Primark. I found this gel, it's a white gel nail varnish. I only wear white nail varnish on my toes. I just, nothing else suits my toes. They just look weird. Uh, reduce from two euro to 50 cents. Winning, winning. And I got this, oh God, I'm actually dying. Got this candle, right? Obviously I, you don't know what the smell is, but it smells so good on one euro. It smells like roses. It's really beautiful. I picked up some makeup uh, stuff as well. Again, this was in the sale section. This is my perfect color. It's a white droplet to make your foundation a lot lighter. So these are so handy for in your kit if you're a freelance makeup artist. They don't, uh, well I find that they don't um, affect the consistency of your foundation. Like it doesn't make, if it's a full coverage foundation, it doesn't make it more liquidy or anything. It literally just changes the color because you use the tiniest blob of it and you mix it in. But it's great, this was reduced to I think it was one euro down, no, two euro down from five euro. And I, I've been using these for ages. I have one in brown as well to make a foundation darker. I'm not the biggest fan of the brown one because I find that it kind of, it makes the foundation more brown than a warm tone. It kind of puts more of a cool tone down on it. Next is um this brow gel. This is only 150. It's a clear brow gel. Sometimes I find if you use a brow gel that has a colour in it, if you just want to flick it, it starts to get underneath your eyebrow or above and then you're just left with a blob and that is annoying as shit. But yeah, then I picked up some boring bits, but like, who cares about them? They're just eyelashes and cotton buds, they're shit. Shit. Right, we'll go on to, um, oh, oh god, I'm so sorry. I keep snotting everywhere. I'll go on to my friend's stuff now. I'm very excited to try these on. And I've had a look at the dress, but I haven't actually tried it on. So I'm very excited to see what it looks like on. So this is the dress. It is a gorgeous emerald green. I just think it's absolutely beautiful. 
So it doesn't really look like much. <laughs> I'm so sorry. You're. I'm just adding at the minute, and you're probably thinking, why the hell does she have a top past her belly button and a pair of pajamas on? Um, it's because I'm a lazy bitch and I only make myself look pretty from the boobage area above. So please ignore that. Because it just looks very frumpy, but it comes with a belt to tie you right in. I just find that it's so classy looking, like it's very, um, if you could put this, I think, with really nice diamond gold earrings with your hair up or even like in a curly blow dry and with gorgeous gold heels, very, very standout gold. I just think you look so expensive. I just think it's fab. I'll definitely be wearing this out for dinner with Luke one of the nights when we're in Ibiza. Uh, I'll try to do it at the start because it is, it's long sleeve, so it might be a little bit warm. But Ibiza is any sort of fashion which is pretty good so i'm excited to see what this uh, looks like on so i'll uh, let you know what my verdict is after i try it on I think this is so cute it's very formal like it's very like good for a wedding i just think it has a cute little frill to it i don't feel very tight in it the fabric is absolutely to die for all i did was i just changed up the sleeves a little bit i just pulled them up a little bit but i think it's actually so cute if you had like a really nice statement gold necklace uh, I think if you had your hair like up with like a little bit down big statement necklace big gold heels I think it's perfect for a wedding I feel cute in them I think that was really well with my eyeshadow <laughs> So next thing is an airport outfit obviously I need to insert an airport outfit in here I think your airport outfit is more important than the whole holiday isn't it? <laughs> So this is a gorgeous cotton, wow it's just it's so soft, oh my god. So this is a gorgeous two piece, like kind of loungewear where it has these cute little ties at the side that you can put them into little bows, cute leggings to match it, oh my god these are so comfy. I think these will be great if you're going on a long haul flight. These are the softest things I've ever felt in my life. It looks like it'll be a very very nice fit. Oh my god, this is so cute! I really like this! Oh! So cute! I just think that if you wear this with like a nice necklace, like a nice silver necklace, I... Here, comment below if you think it's weird when people wear grey and they wear gold, like jewellery. I think it's really weird, I just think it just does not match. It's like with, with black you can wear gold, that's fine, but I find that if you wear a grey, you have to wear silver. I just think it's because it's cool toned. I just, I don't know, I just think it just doesn't look weird, doesn't look nice. I think this with really nice white runners and a black bum bag across your chest. That is your airport outfit done and dusted. That is really cute. Oh my god, so soft. Oh my god, I can't wait to wear that one. Right, let's get on to Bershka. This is the best thing of the haul. I left the best to last. I went out in Bershka. Bershka at the minute has... Oh, Bershka at the moment has such nice things. I always know that Bershka always has like very good, very good basic tops and that, but they are getting so inventive with whatever they're doing at the minute because everything is such festival vibes and it's just, everything is gorgeous. Really, really nice stuff in at the minute. So the first thing is this adorable dress. I absolutely adore it. I actually have no like cute dresses, you know, like, Oh, let's bay, let's go for lunch. You know, that type of dress where you just want to throw some on, but make it look like you didn't really try, but still want to look cute at the same time. You know, that type of vibe. This is this dress. I just love the colour. I know it came in navy with, like, uh, daisies on the front of it, and a green one, which was a tiny bit different style. It was a little bit tighter, but I just really liked the orange. I just think the orange is such a cute colour, and it's very, very summery. And it's a perfect fit, I find, that... It's not too tight on me, and it's not too tight around the arms. Oof, this is a nightmare. Um, I always find that I get kind of like claustrophobic if I'm too tight in anything. Like even like polo necks, I'm not very good with polo necks. I get all like flustered and sweaty, and I break out in the sweat. It's just not a good time. It's fabulous. I've already tried it on, so I already know that it fits really, really well, and it's so good. I got this in a size small, and this was twenty euro. Fab. I actually had to, I was in a bit of a rush this morning trying to shop and I had to get home for makeup appointments but this was, I had to, I had to try it on because I didn't know whether I liked it or not. So I tried it on, I really really liked it. 
So it's a Leo, but it has this like cup in the middle of it. And if you haven't seen my tattoo video, I'll link that below and you can just go on to it. I have a tattoo underneath um, like my stomach area, like underneath my boobs. So I always try my best to get tops that have this little cut in it. But it's such a nice color top. Like this with anything will go very, very well. I even find though that if you put a nice, it's a bit risky now, but if you put a nice sarong over this, you could definitely wear it out to like a beach club and that. Like I know it's like quite like assy in that, but if you're feeling adventurous, definitely. But I think I might even wear, I have black, black mesh trousers. So I think that will be such a gorgeous vibe. This with like loads of gold jewelry, fabulous. Fabulous. Now I seen Kara Sharon bought this a few weeks ago. Um, I'll put her Instagram here for you. Um, and I just was like, I need this. It's so cute. I love anything with dragons on it. Like I really want to get a dragon tattoo. Um, soon, but I really want one. And um, if you ever seen Nikita Dragon, like her tattoo on her back is oh my god, insane. You need to go check her out. But look how cute this top is. Oh, for fuck's sake, foundation on it. It's not a big deal, but it's just annoying, you know? You know, like when you buy clothes, you want to be able to just wear them without foundation on them. But how cute is this top? I am in love with it. The only thing that's kind of annoying me is that I find that I wear really high-waisted stuff and I feel like it will crop. I think it will crop up to here on me. But I just think this is such a cute little top to have in your collection with nice... Um, mom jeans or boyfriend jeans or something and then just nice runners it's just very easy basic clothing that you can throw on i got this in a size small and this was eight euro oh i forgot to say as well this was 13 euro and i got in a size small now this is like i've seen it and i've always wanted to be able to wear maxi skirts or maxi dresses but i'm such a short artist that i just can't do it so i found this and i was like i need to try it on try it on fell in love with it it's a type of thing you need to try on to see if you love it or not. It is a gorgeous maxi skirt with a really high, uh, well, really high slit in it. I was so shocked at how high the slit was. So it shows off my legs so it doesn't make me look as small as I actually am. And again, it's like the dress that I have. It's a gorgeous color. I just think this with any of the Primark tops I bought. A gorgeous cute little white top and cute white runners or brown sandals and a white top if you want to go a little bit more on the a little more on the dressy side so you just do with like a nice brown sandals and a cute cropped denim jacket this is really cute i got this in a size small and this is 20 euro then the last thing sorry if you made it this far thank you very much so the last thing i got is this cute top i just i just thought it was the cutest thing ever it is cherries on it like who wouldn't want to buy this Right, so it does look very small. It's a size extra small, and this was eight euro as well. Um, but I think it's fine because it's really stretchy. Like you can see, it's extremely stretchy. So I find that if I got a small in it, um, it wouldn't really fit me as well as I wanted to. But I just think this is so cute. If this were like a white denim skirt, and then if you had some red boots, if you want to be a bit daring, I think that'd be cute. Very cute. I just love that. Hey, so, so I know I look different. Um, I'm trying on clothes, and I completely forgot to add these in, I just seen them on my bed and I forgot I even bought them. These are gorgeous high waist shorts. I've tried them on before and they give you such a gorgeous booty. I got a size 10 in them because um, I find that the 10 just fits around my bum a lot better. So it kind of gives you a bum, then gives you a flat pancake arse. And they have these like little cuts at the very corner of them. So if you are like me that has a little bit more bigger legs than your waist they give you such a nice shape they're not too tight around the legs but they fit perfectly around the waist area i'm usually a size eight so i would go up a size and eight but so that was everything i am so happy if you made it this far thank you very much don't forget to like this video if you want to see my next video my next video is about when i got a really 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 bad eye infection from eyelashes so if you want to see that Keep on touch my uploads on Mondays and Thursdays, so I will see you on Mondays. Bye, everybody. Thanks so much for watching.